Making collabs in Osu just got a lot easier. There was an update about a month ago that added this image map feature to forums and user pages. And what this does for collabs basically is it prevents the hassle of having to split this into multiple different images. Uh, if you want a certain area of the image to be clickable, you can just define a box on the image and you will be able to click on it, go to a user profile, and you can even give it these cool name tags here. Very useful. You can have it go to uh, tournament pages, whatever you want. Uh, and since Imgur just deleted a bunch of people's collabs, I figured it would be nice right now if people are going back and remaking them uh, to give people an easier way to do that with the new image map feature. The things you need to use this, obviously you need the picture of the collab itself. I'm not doing that. This isn't, this isn't that tutorial. If you want a tutorial for that, I'll leave one in the description. Uh, and to make each box work, each box needs a X, Y width and height value, which importantly are not in coordinates, they're in percentages. Uh, so you need an easy way to get that, and I'm going to be showing you a very easy way in GIMP, which is free to download. I'll leave that in the description as well. Um, this has a pretty easy way to get percentages very quickly. And then you need the URL to redirect to and the title for the, uh, the name tag thing on top. Uh, so we'll be using this image right here. It's cool. I just like, I don't know, I found it on Google. I figured I'd use it. Uh, if you want to make the image map template you can click this button here it's the little one that looks like a map it has image map on it uh you need the url for the collab picture itself which i have over here remove this part uh and so we're going to be getting these uh coordinates for the uh box that i want to make say for example i want to make haruhi's head because of course i'm haruhi uh redirect to my user page I can draw a box around this and on the side here, GIMP will, you might need to navigate to the menu, but GIMP will tell you the position and size of your selection. By default, it's in pixels, but you can click this drop down menu and just change it to percent like that. It makes it a lot easier. And so now we have these values here, which we can very, very easily use uh, to, to do this. So very simple. This is the X coordinate and this is the Y. So the X is 59.79. The Y is 11.71. Uh, and the size right here is 17.64 by 35.29. Now you'll notice I drew a perfect square and these size numbers are different. That's because it's in percentages. So this is 35% of the height of this picture in this area. 17% of the width. That's basically how it works. Uh, and then I can add a URL here and I can give it a label. Labels can be, I think, as long as you want. I don't know if there's a character limit. Uh, and if you hover over this area, it'll take you to my profile. And the rest of it is uh, nothing. You don't click on it. Uh, so we can do this again. Say, for example, I'll put my good buddy Hexagon over Yuki here. So I'll drag this square over to Yuki's head. I can make it a little smaller. Uh, and you have these new numbers here. Go back down to that. 26.71, 30.57, oops. 16.29, uh, and 32.57. I need his uh, user profile. He changed the name to tights, I forgot. Hexagon. And that'll be the box right there. Hopefully this is pretty easy to use. Uh, it's a lot better than having to split these manually into different images and uploading them all to Imgur, especially if you want like slightly offset boxes like this. This is a super easy way to do that. Uh, that's about it.